Hello there guys, girls and non-binary pals. Welcome back to another episode of my Hardcore Let's Play series. You can probably hear my cats. <laughs> we are back in my house and um, we have a problem. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Spectre, when we last left you, you only had three cats and you were in the desert. Well, I decided to head home to uh, put down a bunch of my stuff and on the way I ran into another village. And they had a bunch of cats there as well. Oh god, <laughs> what have I done? Okay, um, so as you can see, I, s I wasn't feeling well yesterday so I decided to just relax and do a bit of decorating around my house. It's still not entirely done yet but we added more flowers, we finished up the enchantment area and we made this little like fenced off area with this cute path. Bilbo Baggins keeps putting grass blocks everywhere. I can't stop him. He's got another one. Anyway, one of the things that we got in the last game was... In the last game? One of the things we got in the last episode was a fishing rod and that got me thinking I want to do some fishing. And I was fishing out here for a while and then I had a close call with a creeper and decided, you know what, I'm gonna build a safe little koi pond in my base area where I can fish in peace. Because we still have these bones, we still have these leads, we don't have a dog, nor do we have a fox yet. And that is a problem. So, we're gonna head off in direction of the tiger biome and see if we can find any fish to put in our water buckets. And also if we can find a dog or some foxes, that would be great. I didn't want to drag a fox too far from uh, the other side of the world, mostly because I know bad things happen when you try and lead animals over long distance. Now let's grab these- ah <laughs> why? Let's grab these berries. I see a dog! I see a dog! I see a few dogs! Oh my gosh! Yes! Hi! Can we be friends? Oh, you are so cute. Let's get another one. Hello! Please be my friend! Yes! Oh, so cute! And I see another one over there. I know we have like six cats now, but I can't help myself. Oh, 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 there they are, there they are! Oh, you just killed this sheep? That's not very nice. Oh, you have got a Dalmatian skin! Okay, so I have a texture pack that turns um, tamed wolves into different kinds of dogs. And it is so adorable. So, we need to continue looking for some foxes. <gasps> Hello! Okay, I think that's enough dogs. Yeah, that's definitely enough dogs. No more dogs. Okay, I've been around this tiger and unfortunately I haven't found any foxes. I don't know if that's it. They're not going to spawn in this tiger at all. Or they might spawn at a later date. I don't know how fox spawning works. So if you do know, let me know in the comment section down below. I am just a little bit sad because I did see some foxes on my way home and I didn't get them because we were like 2,000 blocks away. Also I apologize if you can hear my ceiling fan. Um, it's not cold enough, I mean it's not warm enough in the day for me to turn on my aircon but at the same time uh, if I turn off my fan it will be unbearably warm in this room. Okay, so I need to catch some codfish for my pond as well. I don't want these um, salmons. And I'll show you why in a little bit, if we can find some codfish. Okay, we're here at the ocean. We should be able to find some codfish here. I saw them last time. Aha! There we are. Okay, so I have a texture pack that- come here please. I have a texture pack that turns codfish 
into koi's. So we're gonna go get. Oh my gosh, this one, the one with the flag on his forehead. That one is a very rare co uh, type of koi. They're kind of hard to find. The one with just they are completely white, with just an orange pattern, perfectly circular orange pattern on its on its uh, forehead. I grew up with a koi pond in the house, so I do absolutely love kois. I, I think they're really, really pretty. And they're just really graceful and really fat and kind of cute. Oh, there's another turtle. Hi! Let's see, let's get this one. I don't know all their names, uh, unfortunately. I wish I could remember them. There we go. And one last one. There! Classic orange and white one. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Please! Yes! Okay, we've done it. Where is my house? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I... Oh... <laughs> I have Feather Falling 3, but I don't want to test it. <laughs> okay, we are nearly home. I can see all the pink trees in the distance. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. Right. Puppies, be ready to see your new home for the first time. I think I'm gonna leave one of you out here. Thank you for volunteering. So you're gonna be here with Roach, help keep an eye on her. The rest of you, come with me. Okay, whatever you do, don't get stuck in the boat, okay? I'm just gonna run in. I'm gonna run and hope they teleport to me. Please don't get stuck in the boat. Oh no. Oh, okay, all three of them are here. Good, 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 good. Okay, you guys are gonna be barn dogs. Ready? You sit here. Come on. Until I build a house for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Get in. There we go. Until I get a house built for you guys. You guys are going to stay here and help look after the barn animals. Right, so I'm thinking with our um, little pond, we're going to build it over here because this is a really flat like cliff face so I just want to I just want to have like a bunch of like water coming down here pooling down here and I think it'll be really really pretty so let's get rid of this okie dokes uh, we still need to build a campfire to smoke out these guys oh hello um, and also maybe do a bit of terraforming over here so let's go and do that I'm gonna put my bed aside over here and go get my silk touch and a campfire. Okay, so we want a relatively big pond. I think that's all right. That's a good size. And we're just gonna bring it down another couple of blocks. Okay, so we've dug out the hole. I think it looks decent. What we're gonna do now is replace the dirt with our stone. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, and our next step is to add a little bit of rocky formation around the sides of this thing. So let's build some stairs and stuff. Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll just add some rocky formations around the place. And we also have a few buttons to add. So just dot them randomly about. Make them look like little tiny cute pebbles. Okay, and now we can fill the place up. This is going to take a while. 
So let's go get some water from our farms. Okay, this might be a little bit easier without shaders, so I'm just going to turn off my shaders real quick. Oh my gosh, my world is awful. <laughs> let's just ignore that and keep making a pond. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I lost track of time. Time to sleep. Hurry, hurry, hurry. How on earth do I fix that? Um, what do I do here? So, um, I'm gonna quickly turn back shaders. I'm quickly going to turn shaders back on. Oh, this is so much better. Okay, let's get working on that waterfall. Let's see how it looks from over here. It looks kind of weird. Um, don't, don't worry though, we're going to fix it. <laughs> okay, it kind of looks like a mess. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> But we can fix it. First, uh, let's release our fish and hope they don't decide to go swim upstream. Oh no, they literally started swimming upstream. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? No! No! Don't do that! Okay, um... <laughs> That was nearly a disaster. How can we stop them from possibly killing themselves? Okay, I have an idea. Oof, okay. So, with the aquatics update, water now passes through fences, so we can maybe make a few fences and treat it as like a type of grate. We've got some lanterns to make sure that area is nice and lit up. Okay, I've used up all my leaves. Hopefully that has helped fix a little bit of my issue. Oh goodness, no it has not. <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna say that's how I intended it to look and we're just gonna leave it. Just gonna leave it alone. Okay, so we're going to have a bunch of lily pads. Ooh, coming over this way and then we are going to build a bunch of fences okay so this is clearly an artificial um, lake situation artificial pond so we're going to have this as some grates okay hopefully now the fish can't escape in you go why are you blue now? Please explain yourself, sir. There goes another one. Another one. Off you go. I think they all changed their skins while they were in this um, bucket. Okay, so next up we want to light this place up a little bit. So I'm going to use these trapdoors. In fact, I'm going to make a couple more. Right, and I saw this on uh, Pinterest yet again. Pinterest really out here saving my life. But we do this. And then we have these sort of like floating on top of the um, water surface. And then we pop a lantern on top of it like so. Those koi's really are trying to kill themselves. <laughs> Please, I put the fence there to stop you. Okay, cool. Um, we do need a little bit of sand though because we do want to hatch our eggs. So I'm going to pick this area to be our little sandy area. Um, we first need to go get some sand, which is something I did not do. Okay, so we've got our little sandy area there and I'm going to go get our eggs. 
and I'm really hoping, fingers crossed here, that the turtles don't try and escape. Okay, so we got our sea pickles, our turtle eggs, our coral. Let me get some bone meal to bone meal the water. Okay, first order of business. Let's put you guys down. Then in we go. Then we do a little bit of bone mealing. Just to get some nice seagrass in there. And our sea pickles. Which are my absolutely favourite thing. Look how cute they are. And just like that, we have a little fishing area where we can fish safely within the confines of our wall. I'm just going to put our lanterns around this area, you know, so nothing spawns. And since we're waiting for the turtles to hatch, I'm going to grab um, some extra corals to put inside the coop. Okay, so when I put down these corals, they're- oh my gosh, why do you guys have so many eggs? When I put down these corals, they're gonna turn uh, grey, but that's fine. Oh my gosh, please guys, work with me. So we'll put these here. There we go. Uh, yeah, and they're gonna turn grey, but it's okay. I don't mind. You can have your eggs back, I kind of have too many. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! Seriously, why, why do they keep trying to swim upstream? You're not salmon!